Uh, Wayne Skalicki, 1407 Fifth Avenue Northwest, East Grand. You know, um, for the last couple, two, three years, I'm getting so tired of watching the five o'clock news or the six o'clock news, whatever, and on TV, and what we get is the Fargo, Moorhead news in Detroit Lakes, the news, the weather, and the sports. I couldn't care less. I don't, I don't care what they do in Detroit Lakes or Fargo-Moorhead. And what I've been wondering for a long time is, and I know the argument against it because I've already talked to Tim and I, I know what the problem is. Um, I don't know why Grand Forks, East Grand Forks and Devil's Lake could not establish their own television station where you have local reporters, you have the Grand Forks News, Grand Forks Weather, Grand Forks Sports, University of North Dakota Sports, not the Bison, I don't give a damn about the Bison, but, but uh, Grand Forks, East Grand Forks and Devil's Lake, and Crookston for, <clears throat> for that matter. You know, they went to the Devil's Lake this afternoon with a friend of mine, and he's from Velva. And he was telling me that they have two TV stations in Minot. Uh, I didn't Google it, so I, you know, I, I'm not sure that this is a fact, but that's what he said. Minot's about to be about half the size of Grand Forks, East Grand Forks, and Devil's Lake in the middle of nowhere. What's around Minot? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know, compared to uh, these two towns and, uh, and Devil's Lake. How come uh, East Grand Forks and Grand Forks, through economic development, couldn't try to promote somehow somebody, some investor who, who might be interested in bringing a local television station to Grand Forks? I, I, I can't see it. I can't, you know, I know what the argument against it is. I already talked to Tim. I know what the argument is. They say it isn't, it isn't profitable. Well, how can Minot have two stations in a town of 40,000 people if it isn't profitable? I, I, I guess I don't understand it. It, it seems to me that we, when, when you turn on the TV, we could be watching the Grand Forks news, Grand Forks weather, in Grand Forks sports, not Fargo. I, I don't care about Fargo. I, I, and and <laughs> I don't know. What's, wrong, what's wrong with promoting it through the cities? It's, it's business, you know, it's business. And I think that's where it would have to start. There must be people with money, I would think, in, in these two cities and, and uh, Devil's Lake. We used to have our own station. We had our own station here for many years. The people sold it out to, to form communications because I suppose they made a few bucks on it and headed for Arizona. Well, I don't blame them, but uh, still, it, <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to see economic development in these two towns in Devil's Lake promote the idea of our own television station. Newspapers, too, of course. Newspapers are a problem because... You know, you can get up in the morning and, and turn on your cell phone and Google the news, and it's all there before you get the paper. So, I mean, newspapers are a big problem. I, I don't know if they're... I would rather see our paper published here, and then we could get a, a Monday paper, too. But newspapers are a problem. I, I, I can understand that. But TV is a different breed of cat. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know why that couldn't Mayor, be. Do you have anything? Anybody else have anything for him? Um, I would think if we were going to do anything with it, maybe Mr. Gordy and his counterpart on the other side would put their heads together and see if there would be any angle that we could approach because they interface with business continuously, those folks. And, and Devil's Lake. Why not Devil's Lake? That's the way it used to be. I don't know what the population would be Compared to Minot, and I didn't bother to Google it, but if, if you looked at Grand Forks, East Grand Forks, Devil's Lake, and Crookston, I'm sure we're three times as big as Minot. 
And I think if anything else, too, I might check with bringing the chamber to the table. And they, are, they already meet at some interval to talk about various things. That could be an item that they could take up. They do gather for really the whole economy of the region at, at an interval. Well, I don't see why the people advertise over, uh, and I haven't kept track of how many people from the North Valley, because there's nothing from Hillsboro North in the North Valley. Uh, there's no television. <coughs> it's all the South Valley. There's nothing here. Let's do that. Let's, let's send it over to Paul and see if he can get any traction on it. Got it. Mr. Demers. Thank you, Mr. President. I guess one of the things I'd say is, you know, since 2017 or into at the end of 2017, the FCC board voted to eliminate the requirement that that broadcast areas needed to have a studio in their local their home locality. So, I mean, they said they said specifically that it was so that broadcasters could make more money so that they could take that more, those earnings and turn them into better technology, better programming or whatever. But it was, this is something that is, is you need to talk to your U.S. Uh, representatives on both sides of the river, on both sides, both sides of the aisle, and remember that those changes that they make up in, in Washington, D.C. Have, have effects at the local level. Oh. So, so that's, the, that's the driver of it. Um, you're seeing it all over. Um, one of the things that the city has done or we're kind of working on is becoming primary source um, information. It isn't re reporting. It's we're, we're working on getting you guys as the public as much primary source information, video straight video feeds right from these meetings. For, we're working on expanding that to all our meetings so that you will have access to whatever information we have, you'll have. Well, Not filtered through any reporting agency, but that's the best that the government can do. So, Well, it seems to me that we, we should be entitled in community of this size to uh, be able to have our own newscast, our own weather reporting, and our own sports reporting. It just I, stands to reason that we should be able to do that. There's a lot smaller communities that are doing it, and we're getting it from strangers. Well, I don't care about Fargo. And, and, and <laughs> it's, Grand Forks actually comes after Detroit Lakes. Was Detroit Lakes some little river town on a polluted lake in Minnesota? It was nothing to me. <laughs> Zero. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what uh, it's, I don't know what can be done about it, but it seems to me that it would be something for economic development yep. um, to talk to their counterparts in in the Devil's Lake and in Grand Forks. If it's impossible, it's impossible. And I, but if a small town like Minot can do it, well, I don't know why I don't know why we can't do it. And I haven't checked Google to see if Minot. I know Minot for in fact has one KMOT, which is a Minot station. I think Minot's like forty thousand people. I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'd like to have our own news, weather, and sports. Okay. Well, we have um, some ideas for you you can talk to, and if there's anything, other questions for them or any ideas, you can get in touch with you, Mr. Sklicky, and go from there. Okay. Thanks, yep. Yep. You bet. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it.